Good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome into noon prayer on this Tuesday, this Fat Tuesday, um, the last week of Epiphany. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone tonight at our gathering for Mardi Gras. But until then, let us have noon prayer. An order of service for noonday may be found on page 103 in your Books of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We won't be able to say that starting tomorrow. Now, turning the page, let us say together in unison Psalm 126, located on page 105 in your Books of Common Prayer. Let's say this together in unison. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, continuing at the top of page 106, a reading from 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I invite your intercessions, your petitions, your requests, your thanksgivings. We pray for Joe, our president, for Kamala, our vice president. We pray for Kay, our governor, and Paul, our mayor. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Glenda and Brian, our diocesan bishops. We pray for Father Dylan, our associate rector, for Lynn, our deacon. We pray for Karen, our postulant for holy orders, and Lauren, our missioner to Kenya. Now, let us pray for five. Steve and Trudy Grumman, Zach Grumman, Todd Guthrie and Renee Bartlett, Mary Hagen, Victor and Beth Hagen. Okay, dear ones, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Ash Wednesday services. Until then, let us bless the Lord. Amen.